Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this special news flash. I'm Tara Dean, your National President for Professional Speakers Australia, and joining me on screen today is Mr Rodney Marks, CSP, a past National President with PSA. That's correct, isn't it? Yes, yes, 2007, 2008, well, um, which... Makes me a certified dinosaur, I think. <laughs> no, not at all. It actually makes you um, a highly valued member of our professional speakers community. And that's one of the reasons you're joining with me today is that you, in fact, have been the first person to lodge the newly new look at CSP Emeritus application. And on December 20th, 2018, the PSA board unanimously voted to endorse you, Rodney Marks, as the first 2018 CSP Emeritus. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to the board for, uh, 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 for voting. So, yeah. It was very much an easy decision. You are both highly esteemed and very much loved by our PSA community. And I thought I'd take a moment just to introduce you to our PSA community uh, for those new members that may not know you, Rodney. So can you share a little bit about your speaking journey and then what's led you to apply for CSP Emeritus and how you feel that might position you for the next season? Uh, I'm a comedian. And uh, for many years, I've performed on the comedy circuits around Australia and a little bit internationally, and on the speaking circuits around Australia and a little bit internationally. Uh, so I've performed in uh, hundreds of different venues and uh, about 3,000 performances altogether. And uh, lately, the last five years, I guess, I've concentrated more on the comedy circuit and less on the speaking circuit. Right. Um, but in the speaking world, uh, I'm considered as a, uh, uh, a fake or faux keynote speaker. So yep. unfortunately, I, I parody real keynote speakers. There you go. So what's um, to apply for CSP Emeritus? I love uh, uh, the organisation. Uh, PSA, its members, its leadership, of course, and the camaraderie. Uh, in the comedy world, no such thing exists. There's, um, there's uh, I mean, people are lovely, but we don't have the same sense of community as the speaking world. So there's no, you know, conference, monthly meeting. Uh, there's no curriculum like the eight, uh, core competencies. Uh, there's no career path. You're either working or you're not. Yeah. Although perhaps that's the same for speaking. Uh, for, yeah, yeah. It's, so there's there's overlap, yeah. and uh, um, you know we get to know many many people. And I didn't want to withdraw from that world. Oh, well, we're so glad that you didn't and we're delighted that a mechanism like CSP Emeritus means that we can hold on to the community and the wisdom that uh, you've generated and contributed to in various leadership roles. So I'm really grateful that I've personally come to know you. I remember a platform professionals event a couple of years ago where we had a photo um, and behind us was this amazing um, hydrangea plants and it looked like I had this great big purple wig. Do you remember that? It yeah. was so much fun. And uh, on another occasion, you walked myself and a colleague, I think it was Kate Burr from South Australia at the Canberra Convention to go hunt for chocolate. Um, oh, very important. Yeah. Very, very important. So lots of shared experiences. And so with CSP Emeritus, Rodney, um, the application process was available online. How easy was it for you to go through and access those forms? Because I understand you were travelling at the time that you... Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it, was, it was very straightforward. Even the signing of one of the forms which needed a witness, um, uh, Deborah, my wife, was with me and she is a full-time uh, government-employed teacher, was eligible to sign the document so that was uh, 
That was really I good. I guarantee that for every situation, <laughs> for every person that may want to lodge the application, that they have someone right there like Deborah. Um, but that's just fantastic. And the turnaround time for us, um, you know, it coincided with an upcoming board meeting. It, the document arrived in time for us to get it circulated in the latest board pack. And so I notified you within 24 hours and here you are. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Marks. So what would you say to any other CSP that is entering a season that's a little bit different where they're not proactively deriving income from professional speaking whereby their business model may have changed they may be um, shifting their focus they may be heading towards retirement or things like that what would you say to them uh, do it uh, transition to from CSP to CSP emeritus uh, I think of uh, when Bob Hope was interviewed and said you know you're famous you're rich why don't you retire and go fishing he yeah. said fish don't applaud Oh. Uh, so stay, stay connected, stay involved. One of the, um, and, and, you know, I don't want to lose contact with you either, previous, yeah. uh, previous members. Perhaps uh, it's an opportunity to rejoin. Um, the, um, uh, the, the, whole, the whole experience should not end. And uh, um, uh, part of the, uh, the contract, if you like, is to offer oneself as a guide or a mentor. Um, so if people want to contact me, care of the uh, PSA website, all the details are there, just, just do so. I don't know what you would be interested in. Perhaps uh, uh, you've got a, a serious presentation, you want to know how to make it a little bit funny or something like that, whatever. Uh, That's beautiful please, uh, and very and you're referring to um, people finding you through the speaker directory that's attached to professionalspeakers.org. Yeah, I mean, is, that seems to be the most sensible uh, sensible way. Or you can just go to my website, comedian.com.au, and, and again, just there's an email uh, uh, form there. Fantastic. And I understand also that um, sort of part of that CSP range of um, contribution back to the association, you're also open to um, supporting our chapter leadership teams at different chapter events and also our boost coaching program faculty which is very exciting of course of course yeah. whatever, whatever you want yeah uh, uh, I, I, I think uh, you know I'm based in New South Wales and the the leadership teams for the last several years and also going into um, the next few years they've been terrific and I'm sure that's part of the national training and uh, different states also seem to be going uh, so well. So congratulations to the, the national board. Oh, thanks so much, Ronnie. I know, um, you know, it, there's so much time that uh, goes in at each of the different state levels from WA to South Australia, Victoria and Tassie, uh, New South Wales ACT and Queensland Northern Territory. I know the commitment is really there from the volunteers and certainly, you know, each year successive boards stands, stand on the shoulders of giants and you're one of our industry giants. So I'm delighted that the board unanimously appointed you as our 2018 first enhanced CSP emeritus through the new transparent process. So thank you for joining me on this Friday before Christmas. Christmas and uh, I hope that all of our friends who are watching this through our Facebook community whether it's online through uh, literally through Facebook uh, our group or our Instagram account or perhaps even our LinkedIn profile join me in congratulating you Mr Rodney Marks much love from all of us at Professional Speakers Australia. Thank you, thank you Madam President. You're welcome sir thank you.